Hello. Today I want to talk about making your kick drums bigger. In Cubase, we're going to use the test generator to uh, generate a sine wave, and that sine wave will be in time with a drum beat. If you're unfamiliar with the test generator, I have it on this track here. It's always sounding. This is what it looks like. If you go to Steinberg Tools, there it is, test generator. So it generates waveforms and noise also. Here is a sine wave. That's what we're going to use today for our kick drum. And you can change the frequencies or manually. And the volume, right? Triangle wave, square wave, sawtooth. It also has noise, white noise. Pink noise rolls off some of the high end, and brown noise, which rolls off even more uh, of the high end, really just lets the low frequencies of the noise come through. These can be useful for certain applications. So I have a drum beat here, just a little electro drum beat, pretty basic drum beat. But what we want to do is make that kick drum sound a little bigger. What I've done is duplicated the track. So I just right click on here, duplicate tracks. So now I got the exact same thing on this track. But uh, what I've done is on the inserts I put in an EQ and I've cut out all the upper frequencies and just try to emphasize the kick. That's all we really want to hear is the kick drum. We're not going to hear this in the mix because what I'm going to do, notice the volume is down, is I'm going to send this to the test generator. Right, so if you look on sends here, there we have it. And this is sent to pre-fader. So it's not reliant on the volume here to send over. If it's post fader, it's reliant on this volume and then it sends over, right? But I have it set to pre fader, right? The blue. And it's set to zero. Zero dB is our send level, right? And that's going over to the test generator. So if you go to the test generator, it's a, just a mono audio track. And I put two plugins on there the test generator and a gate. Now, the reason the gate's there is because that's going to control the test generator. Because remember, the test generator sounds all the time. It's pretty stupid. It just plays a sound endlessly. So that won't work for what we want to do. So notice I have a sine wave here set to 55 hertz. And maybe with computer speakers, maybe we'll go up a little higher. That's my volume, sine wave. But we don't hear it. That's because I have a gate on. See, there's the signal. It's completely sounding. But I've turned the side chain on on the gate. If I take the side chain off, Notice it, it sounds because it's, it's sounding continuously. So we want the sidechain on because we're going to send the kick drum into this sidechain input to trigger when the gate's going to open and close. When it opens, it lets the test generator sine wave through. When it closes, no sound. That's the goal. The threshold here determines the level that will trigger the gate to open. So I got it at minus 10 dB. If we solo this and just play it, And then we can tune this. Then we go back to the gate. This determines uh, minus 10 here. So if I drop it down, see now it, it's not as snappy. Some of the notes hang on for a long time because almost any of the signal will trigger the gate to open. So. You want it to be real specific, just the, the sharp kick to come through. Release is how fast the gate closes once it goes below the threshold. So you can make it longer, right, pretty short. And attack is how fast the gate turns on once it goes over the threshold. Well, you want it fairly quick. And that's pretty much it. That's the concept. So notice when I go here under the sends, there's the sidechain. So that's what I've selected. That doesn't appear until you activate the sidechain in the gate. Because I have volume at no volume, if I change it to post fader, we don't hear anything. Because now it's reliant on the volume here, then it'll go to the send. If we go to pre-fader, we don't have to worry about the volume of this because we really don't want that in the track. We already have the kick drum in this track, so we don't need to hear it again. So we're just using it to control the gate 
when it opens and closes to let the test generator through. That's the concept. Here is the basic drum beat. All right, and it's, it's cool, sounds great. But if you want a little more kick, we can add that test generator and it just adds some low end. All right, no test generator. That's the concept. This track is triggering the gate to open and close. And when it opens, it lets the test generator through that we can then tune through here. All right, over and out, see ya.